today we played Catan Combo, Catan Event Cards with Traders and Barbarians. It worked really, really well. There are actual instructions in the Traders and Barbarians instruction book right here. And that shows you how to make it work with the two games combined. Um, we did things a little bit differently when it came to the Robert Flea's cards. So what happened was we, we moved the barbarians to the very edges so that they wouldn't affect much. We just put Catan Chits as their original placements. And then every time a Robert Flea's card popped up, we actually moved the barbarians back to the Catan Chits. Uh, The rule that we also added to that was if you use a knight card or robber attacks card and this guy was out there, you could not move him again. You actually had to move all the barbarians onto the board before you can move one of the other ones. So they had to all be on the board. That worked out really well. If you do flip up a robber attack, you move a barbarian, simple as that. If you roll a an earthquake, your road of course goes to the side and it's kind of like there is no road there. So to get your wagon past, it would cost two movement points because it's like nothing is there. You will need one die in this game and that's to roll to see if you can pass the barbarians. So make sure you don't put them too far away. You will need one of those. There's no longest road in this game. There's no regular development cards. You use the traders and barbarians development cards instead. There's no robber. The base trade is four to one. Don't forget the coins. And you start with two settlements. And it goes to 13 victory points. We did not increase it at all because of these combinations. We didn't feel the need to. It still took about an hour, just under an hour, to play through the game. So like I said, you start with two settlements. So we're going to roll to see who places first. And we'll show you the order in which we will place. Mum rolled the highest. So we're going to show the order of settlement. So Mum will place the settlement. Followed by Ryder, followed by Lily, followed by Lily, followed by Ryder, followed by Mom. Then Mom will place two roads, and on the road that will attach to the second settlement, she will also place her wagon. Followed by Ryder. followed by Lily. And that is the order of placement for this Catan Combo Catan Event cards with Traders and Barbarians. Let's place and let's see who wins.
victory points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then 13 right here Catan combo uh, Catan event cards and traders and barbarians big thumbs up worked very well uh, we made a few adjustments to what it says in the instruction book but it still worked out uh, very well for us we enjoyed it so keep playing and have fun